look closely, even closer. Can you see them? These are our beneficial bios, or good bugs, that are released into our greenhouse. We have nine grow to people on our bug brigade team that uses an integrated pest management program, which involves releasing these good bugs to fight off our bad bugs. Let's see if we can find a few of our bug brigade members. In any Nature Fresh greenhouse, if you look long enough, you'll find yourself a scout. I think I just found one now. Hey Tina, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Not bad. You mind if I climb aboard? Come right ahead. So what does an integrated pest management program consist of? Well here at Nature Fish Farms, uh, our team is, uh, we have seven scouts and two managers. Mm -hmm. What we generally do is we scout up and down these rows and we keep an eye out for anything in the crop. If we do come across anything, we will report to our managers who will then help us with the situation. However, the program is more for preventive actions as opposed to reacting. Reacting to a pest outbreak. Yes. While you're scouting, is there anything in particular you're looking for? Anything you're keeping an eye out for? We pretty much just scout along the rows and our main focus is on the head of the plant because... the head of the plant here? Yes. And um, most of your pests will show up in the head of the plant first. How many acres are you responsible for scouting? I cover 18 acres every week. So you're going through 18 acres of greenhouses every single week? Yes. Wow. It's a lot of plants. Yes, it is. <laughs> I've heard that white flies are very attracted to tomatoes, so what are some preventative measures you guys have put in place to prevent them from breaking out? Uh, we actually put out these little cards of uh, acarsia. Uh, this oh. is what it looks like. And you pretty much just like clip it to the plant. Can you show me how to do that? Yes. You got one yourself there? Yes, I do. Perfect. So you pretty much just take it and you just clip it around the stem of the plant. So it just hangs there. Just like this? Yes. And the larva of the Encarcia is actually on the plant, so it'll hatch over a certain amount of days and they'll start flying around and they'll start targeting any white fly larva that you'll have on the plants. Awesome. And then we will also put up uh, sticky tape. This stuff here? Yes. Just to catch anything really that flies in the air, which includes white fly and a lot of other pests that we deal with. Awesome. We're now going to take a short break from the greenhouse to see exactly what happens behind the scenes in the IPM office. And here's Tina, our IPM lead. Tina, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Very good. So what are we looking at today? We are looking at Cole Manny. Cole Manny. So would you say Cole Manny is one of your favorite predators? Definitely. Definitely, yeah. So what do they do? They, uh, they create a cycle in, in the pest world with um, parasitization. So we put them in before there's even a pest problem. Mm -hmm. They go out, they feed on some pollen in their adult stage. And then once aphids come up, they parasitize them which is basically laying an egg inside the host. And when that egg hatches, it creates more and more and the cycle goes on. Awesome. So what other beneficial bios do we use at Nature Fresh Farms? Uh, there's about 19 different species that we use. Um, there are general predators and there's more specific ones that only feed on one pest. Okay, so the general predators kind of feed on all kinds of pests? Yeah, like ladybugs and lacewings, they tend to feed on a few different things. Awesome. So how do you manage all your acreage that you take care of. <laughs> Hard work and I have a really great team. I have one person on every 15 acres and they do a great job managing it. And those are your scouts? Those are my scouts. Perfect. How do we get our bios from the bottle to the greenhouse? Well, if you come out with me, I'll show you. Awesome, let's do it. Tina Hyde showed me how to release some of the other bios, but 
these ones are straight out of the bottle. So what, what are the next steps here? Well, see this pink ribbon here? Yes. Um, this means there's aphids here. Our scouts go through and they mark any spots and we have a color code for each pest. Perfect. So this lets me know that this is where I'm going to put my bios. And here we have some Cole Manny. Awesome. That's your favorite. This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to take a leaf and kind of cup it and place some around this little hot spot. And then they'll slowly work the way to the head of the plant where your, your aphids are. Yep, once they hatch out of their pupa, they will emerge and attack these aphids right here, first thing. As you mentioned earlier, there's a variety of different ways you can attack the, a similar pest. Mm -hmm. So we have another aphid spot. What's your weapon of choice this time? Ladybugs, they're Ladybugs. troopers. They, uh, they're a general predator and they take on pretty much anything in their path, but they're especially great for aphids. Perfect, let's, let's get them going. So let's give you a peek into the bag oh here. Oh my goodness. How many are in there? 72,000, roughly. And the, oh, they're crawling everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty eager to get out and get going. All right, let's do it. So you're just gonna So we're just gonna place some right around the spot here so they can uh, start eating right away. There you go. Wow. And they're off. <laughs> and and they're, they're on. They're on you too. <laughs> Does the IPM team treat different crops differently? For example, would you treat a bell pepper crop differently as opposed to a tomato crop? Yeah, definitely. We use a lot more bios, and one of the main differences would be the amount of bumblebees that we use for pollination. Really? Yeah, um, if you want to go over there, we can go check it out. Let's do it. All right, we made it to our tomato crop. Yep, uh, we got a bumblebee box right here to look at. Perfect. So what kind of bumblebees are these? This is a native species um, called Bombus impatiens. Really? Okay, so what, what does a typical hive look like? Um, you got your worker bees, uh, drones, and one queen. Awesome, and how many are in here right now? Um, 75 to 100, they'll build up eventually to about 150. Really? So they, they thrive in a greenhouse setting? They sure do. It's uh, warmth, moisture, everything they like. And they got food. Tons of it. So how many do we use, how many bumblebees do we use in one growing season in Canada? About 100,000. 100,000 bumblebees. And what do they exactly do in our greenhouse? Well, they'll fly around and visit every truss with flowers and they help the fruit set. So they pollinate and eventually these tomatoes will grow to be beautiful, fresh fruit. Amazing. All right, Tina. Thanks a lot for your time. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, guys. That's it for me. I'm going to do a little scouting before I take off to see what I can find. For more information about our bug brigade, visit naturefresh.ca. Thanks for watching.